Hey guys, Paul Wilson here. Uh, today I'm just doing a review of the Fifine K678. This is a, uh, a positioned as a podcast microphone, which would be good for obviously podcasting, e-learning. Uh, if you're a YouTube creator, you might want to go with a mic like this. I've got it sitting on top of its box right now just to raise it to the same level here, but I'm just going to talk about some of the differences between the mic that I've been using for quite some time now. That's the Blue Yeti, uh, and that's what you're hearing right now. I'm using the Blue Yeti to record this, and at one point we're going to switch over so you can hear the K678 as well, so you can kind of compare it here. I've got a couple of things that I want to point out. I've done a uh, a look at these of course I did a recording already turned out I had it backwards so uh, it wasn't so flattering but uh, now I'm gonna use the mic uh, facing straight on and actually what we're gonna do is I'm gonna pause the recording at this point and I'm gonna switch from my blue Yeti which you're hearing right now over to the Fafine so uh, or Fifine I guess it's pronounced so let's pause and uh, we'll continue with the, the K678 uh, and so you can hear the difference. So I've switched over to the K678 now uh, from Fafine and uh, you can obviously hear the difference or you should be able to hear the difference. Uh, one of the things that should be noted, there's some differences between this, these two microphones. And if you take a look on your screen, you can see, of course, I've created a little mini chart here to point out the fact that the Fifine K678 is a cardioid microphone only, whereas the Blue Yeti also offers bi-directional, omnidirectional, and stereo. And, you know, you would use the cardioid for what I'm doing right now, where you're speaking into the microphone, recording it, uh, and I'm just really interested in recording my own voice. Bidirectional would be um, ideal if I was doing an interview between myself and another person. Uh, and, of course, that's something the, the Fifine K678 isn't suited for. Uh, omnidirectional would be all around, you know, recording the sounds of an entire room. And stereo would be obviously capturing maybe a musical performance or something like that. So again, if you're just looking for a vocal mic, uh, the Fafine K678 will, will do a fine job for that. Let's take a look at some of the other differences or specs. Uh, and, and this is actually really important here. Both of these mics are no latency monitoring. So um, if I connect my headphone jack which is currently plugged into the blue yeti hopefully this doesn't create too much noise here there is a microphone jack or sorry there's a usb plug on the bottom as well as the headphone jack so now that i've got the headphone jack i can hear the microphone in my ears and i i'm not hearing a delay from when i speak to what i hear so it's really good for monitoring your performance, monitoring uh, what you're saying. And of course, uh, you can control the levels, uh, not only the headphone uh, volume, but the microphone gain is on the other side here. On this side where I'm speaking from, there is a mute button. And of course, uh, as I've learned the hard way, the Fifine logo is here and that's the side that should be facing you when you're recording. I did a whole review earlier where I wasn't paying attention to that and I just recorded from the other side so it didn't sound very good. Uh, let's uh, take a look at some uh, the things here. So yeah, as I mentioned, there is a mic gain control, a mute button, and headphone uh, volume control on both of these mics. So they, they are very similar to one another in the same regard. Um, as far as frequency range is concerned, the Blue Yeti is 20 to 20,000 hertz. The K678 is 40 to 20,000 hertz. So you might find the, the Fifine K678 is, uh, you know, maybe not picking up some of those lower frequencies. Um, it's very doubtful that a human voice is going to be going down that low all the time. 
uh, but it might affect the overall sound quality. So it's something to bear in mind. Another thing I've noted from the specifications is that the Blue Yeti has a signal to noise ratio of about 100 decibels. And the Fifine K678 is 85 dB. What that means is, uh, well, looking at it one of two ways, you either will end up with more noise on the K678 or, you know, if they're, if they're at the same noise level, I'll get a little less signal out of the, the K678. So uh, basically in a nutshell, more noise on the, on the K678 there. So, but you know, all of this needs to be taken with a grain of salt because um, if you're not like me where you don't have a Blue Yeti and you're looking for a first time microphone and you're trying to be a little bit more cost effective, uh, this would be a good choice because when you compare uh, the Blue Yeti, now I'm dealing with Canadian dollars because I'm from Canada. The Blue Yeti is $180 Canadian on Amazon.ca on the day that I'm recording this, whereas the K678 is 95 Canadian. And I think when you find this in US dollars, it's about 65 US dollars. So it's a really good value. It comes with the same accessories. Both of these uh, include a USB cable and a mounting stand. Of course, my Blue Yeti, I've, I've gotten other mounting uh, solutions added here, and that would have cost me extra. But uh, out of the box, the Blue Yeti would have come with a very similar um, stand for a desktop use. The Fafine has this uh, very sturdy design, and that's something I noted when I took it first out of the box. It wasn't some plasticky microphone. It's, it's, I believe it's an all-metal construction. Uh, these knobs on the side might be plastic, but uh, the rest of it, the stand, the microphone itself, it's, uh, it seems like an all-metal con uh, construction, and it has some weight to it. There's definitely some quality and construction quality that has gone into the making of this microphone. So uh, in summary, you know, if you're looking for uh, an affordable microphone, but one that's uh, good quality, good enough for doing YouTube or podcasting or doing narration for your e-learning courses, uh, the Fifine K678 is a great choice. If you thought this video was useful, please like and share with your colleagues. If you need help with your next e-learning project, hire me. My focus is to create effective e-learning that achieves your business goals. Visit my website at CaptivateTeacher.com and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel.